It's about Thanksgiving and everything changed. I thought he was safe and I get a call from Chad two days before Thanksgiving. I still feel emotional about it. I said, Melanie, it's Chad. When the police call, don't pick up the phone. And my heart just dropped. I was so confused. I'm like, what? He says, yeah, the police are over at Lori's house checking on JJ. And I'm like, JJ's not with Kay? <laughs> no, my heart dropped deeper. And I just knew something was wrong, but I didn't know. I didn't understand. Like, you know, what could, well, when you believe these, your friends are good people, you couldn't believe that they could do something like that. What was Chad's demeanor like on the phone? Was he stoic? What was he like? He was very nervous. He was nervous. He was very scared. He did not sound himself. Very unsure, very quivery almost. Um, hmm. Yeah, it was, it was a hard moment. So that call comes completely out of the blue. Out of the blue. Wasn't expecting that at all. He says, don't pick up the phone when the police call. Mm -hmm. He's scared. He's nervous. Mm -hmm. He says, they're going to call you because they're at Lori's house. And she's going to tell them that JJ's with you. She's going to tell the cops that JJ's with you in Arizona. Uh, no, I was in Utah at the time. You were in Utah. Yeah. First of all, that's a, a bombshell that's just thrown. It's, I, can't, I can't even describe how I felt. They put me in a very awkward situation.